Hey there, I'm gonna show you how to come up with brilliant color themes for all your design projects without ever leaving Photoshop. Let's do this. I'm Kara Plichinich and I help creative people do cool things with Photoshop and more. Be sure to check the description below for any links or free downloads mentioned in this video and hit me up at karaplichinich.com to check out my full library of in-depth courses. And while you're there, grab my free creative toolkit, an ever-growing collection of Photoshop actions, templates, design assets, and more. So let's say you're working on a design project. It could be a holiday card, a web banner, social media post, and you hit the wall before you even start because coming up with a color theme can be a legit challenge. So this is my go-to solution, and you may have never even known this was here. In Photoshop, you're gonna wanna come up to Window, and choose extensions and select Adobe Color Themes. Now, if you've been around for a while, um, this used to be called Adobe Cooler. There are three areas here. We have My Themes, Explore, and Create. So let's start over here with Create. So you've got your basic color wheel, you've got your brightness slider here, and over here, you can select a color rule to apply to the themes that you are about to create. For example, if you wanna make a monochromatic theme, we can select the monochromatic color rule, and then we can drag this around on the color wheel, and you can see, oh, this is so fun, oh, I love it. You can see that as you move it around, Photoshop is going to uh, create a set of five colors that follow whatever color rule you've established. So this would be for a monochromatic color rule. Um, obviously, there's a lot of different options here. Analogous is kind of fun. I like to go a little bit wild with it. <laughs> so um, here you go. This would be an analogous color theme that is really fun. It kind of makes me think of like, summertime and surf or something, popsicles. So once you have a set of colors here, five colors that you wanna work with, then you can come down here and click this little button and then you click add to swatches. And that will add those colors over here to your swatches panel. So if you don't have that on your screen already, you can find it from window swatches. And then, you know, you're ready to work with these. Now let's go back, cause that's really cool. The create tab's really cool, but my favorite place to hang out is the explore tab. And um, I love this because you can just call up what you need at any time. So here you can select different um, groupings. So right now I'm gonna go to all themes. And this is what's so great is you can search. So I could search for like ice cream and I hit enter. And these are all kinds of different color themes that people have created. This is all crowdsourced um, that people have called ice cream. Oh, strawberry ice cream. That looks good, right? So like whatever you are, you're working on, you can just type in like keywords for those types of colors and then you can see what other people have come up with and you can either use one of these just for your piece or you know you can use it as a jumping off place. So I just, I love this. Um, so recently I was putting together a Thanksgiving project. So I typed in Thanksgiving and you see all these wonderful colors here, and I was immediately drawn to this one called Thanksgiving 3. So there's a couple of different ways you can then put this to use. If you click the little three-dot menu here, you can check, um, select Add to My Favorites. I'll show you where that goes in a minute. And you can also click Add to Swatches. And as you would expect, that adds it to your swatches here, and your favorites is kind of a weird thing, but here where we've set this to all themes, 
My favorites is apparently also known as my appreciations. So if you're looking for things that you have favorited, they are here in this group called my appreciations. So here we can see the Thanksgiving favorite and a gazillion other things I favorited over however many years that this has existed. Um, so that's it. It's really easy to just crowd search right up here and um, use that as a starting place or just inspiration. Oh, love these retro themes. Um, or you can just create something entirely from scratch. So this is exactly what I used for my Thanksgiving design. I used this Thanksgiving three. And if I drag it over here, this is the final piece. So I ended up using four out of the five colors. Um, and I just love how, how this all looks together. So for this piece, I used the color swatches from here in the Adobe Color Themes panel. And the design elements actually came from the Christmas Holiday Collection by Julia Dreams. How perfect is that? So I will put a link to that below if you wanna check that out. And you can grab this Happy Thanksgiving greeting as a free download along with a whole lot more in my free creative toolkit at karaplichinich.com slash freebies. So I will link to that below as well. Don't forget to subscribe and I will see you again at the next tutorial.